Yes, obviously the Great Wall will be included in this guide, but let's save that for later. And yeah, it's gonna get weird. China, massive country, massive opportunity, and like so many others, we're starting out in Beijing. It doesn't take many minutes on Chinese soil to realize this is a completely different culture than the West, and they all seem to like wearing hats. Let's get started. It's not like this is the number one place in Beijing, but it's a nice slow place to get started. This huge estate dates several hundred years back, functioning as a summer retreat for the imperial top dogs. Okay. Chances are you will not just take photos, but also act as a model. Okay. So, the old emperors basically had all the money, and they did some crazy stuff with it. I mean, this is just an empty square with some buildings around it. <laughs> But it's just powerful. And also right next to the second biggest attraction. So, this is it. The formerly totally sealed off world of the Emperor's Entourage. A never-ending series of open squares and lavish buildings. It's just insane how few people actually hang out here, since it takes forever just walking through this secret city. And be prepared to do number two standing up. Miss Piss. Also, arrive early, the crowds get much worse than this. A couple of hours will be needed just walking through this place. Here's a personal favorite. Hop on a trishaw and explore the narrow alleys of Beijing, the so-called hutongs. If lucky, you'll even be invited inside the small houses. And yeah. Here it comes, the universally famous new wonder of the world, and frankly, the most insane structure on earth. Just don't expect a lazy stroll, parts of the wall are very demanding. I'm pretty sure people over 85 years shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> but if you bring some water, a proper set of shoes and some fighting spirit, this will be the experience of a lifetime.
the views, the serenity and the echo of humankind's accomplishments simply overwhelming. And when you reach the top of an outpost, This must be done. So, the Chinese has a fun way of keeping their hands warm. It's really charming. What is that? Is it a pair? No harm done, let's move on and take a night train to the former cultural capital, Xi'an. Get ready not to be comfortable. Det är ju som min lägenhet i Stockholm det här ju. Ja. Ja. Känner jag fotsvetsdoft här om du har tagit av dig? Ja, det är det. Åh, för satan vad det luktar. Ja, på hans fötter nu. Ja, här kör vi allt. Här får du en liten del. Bring something to do if you can't sleep. Rickard, 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 det är nog dags att gå upp nu. Det är sju klockan. Det är snart framme i Xang nu. God morgon, god morgon. Another must. This is not just a bunch of small statues. It's special. Just knowing all these people died to serve some guy on a power trip, it's hard to grasp. Also, you're not allowed to take photos. I've not seen a single one who cares. It's all enough to keep you entertained for two, three hours. <laughs> A peculiar name, but Muslim Street is the main food hub of this region. Eat, gaze, be amazed. <laughs> In the same area lies China's biggest mosque, more than 1,200 years old, and nothing like any other mosque you've ever seen. Arriving in Shanghai at night is just the right time. Few cities in the world are as impressive glowing in the dark. Hurry down to the waterfront area for a proper greeting. Shanghai is also supposed to have a decent nightlife.
but I didn't really find it. You want to look a lady photo? Look nice. Very nice girls, beautiful girls. Uh, you like her, choose ladies. Good girl, good service. No like on the public. Just take a look, okay? Young lady, beautiful. I don't need a lady. It's probably best just calling this a night. <laughs> Yes, it does make sense going back to the so-called Bund again. It's a total different scenery during daytime. Every day you have to go here on the strand promenade in Shanghai. Connected to the Bund is Nanjing Road, Shanghai's uber-cool main shopping street. This is known to be one of the busiest streets in the world, so watch out for hustlers. Going uh, home. <laughs> and don't miss the chance to see Shanghai from above. We chose the oddly shaped scraper nicknamed the Bottle Opener. In total, Shanghai boasts no less than 166 skyscrapers. Right about now, you deserve a break. Har du köpt en mössa? Ja, jag blir en kokong eller? Oj, du kanske blir en vacker fjäril snart då. Ja. God natt. Don't miss this one. The old city and its lovely traditional buildings creates a surreal contrast to the futuristic skyline behind. But it's not all good. Authorities are actively driving away locals in order to expand tourism. No facility, no kitchen, no bathroom. Okay. No, you don't want to leave your house like that, yeah. do you? No kitchen, no bathroom. No bathroom. They use the, the wooden champion porter for nice oil. You yeah. clean that the next morning in the public lavatory. Okay. Life is not so easy. In my opinion, Shanghai is in its prime after dusk. The bars in the waterfront area are top-notch, fancy, futuristic and making stellar cocktails. But the lead role is, of course, once again, the view. One and a half hour outside Shanghai lies this place, Sushu, the Venice of China. Start slow with the master of the Nets Garden, one of the finest gardens in this country. This is a perfect place to catch your breath for a second. <laughs> Calling Sushu the Venice of China is kind of an insult. The city's been around way longer and is way bigger. Steer your steps to the ancient riverside pedestrian road Shantang Street to soak in the vibe. Good? Good. Yeah. I usually don't buy a lot of crap when traveling, but in China it's hard not to. Because they really do have everything. AP Plaza is a good hunting ground. Let's 
Sounds good. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Allt är så billigt. Allt är fantastiskt. Det här. Vakna! Var allt detta bara en dröm? Och jag, och jag sov ut och... Det kan ju inte stämma. Men om det var en dröm borde jag ju inte ha den här. Har du några syskon som brukar hjälpa dig? Ja? Nej. Kör en runda ni! Don't fool yourself thinking two weeks and these 15 things are all you need to do. Think of them more as appetizers. If you liked what you had, you can spend the rest of your life indulging in this enormous country. Thank you for watching. See you again in a couple of weeks.